Hey guys, it's Evelis the Espion, back at you for another round of Pokemon Trading Card Game, the movie, the game. So, uh, last time we uh, had some fun uh, beating the, uh, the Grass Club Master, that's her name, except her name is actually Nikki. So, I'm not real, I'm still not real sure which uh, club we should be tackling next. Um, I have, you know, the deck is primarily fire, but it's also got some lightning, so that's the thing. Like, I could go to the water club and, you know, use the lightning Pokemon for that reason, but then, you know, we also have the fire ones. This is a little bit too loud, so I'm going to back it off. There we go. Um, yeah, we have the lightning Pokemon that are going to be good against those guys, but then we also have the fire, which are going to be weak against them. So, I think um, a good move would be... Can't do fighting. See, because I'm tr I'm trying to hold off from modifying the initial deck until I have a pretty good idea of a uh, um of how I want to change it up. You know, um. So we got fighting lightning. I think we will try the science club against my better judgment um cuz i can't really think of anything in the science club that you know there's there aren't any weaknesses that it can take advantage of on their end but also it's the same for me so we're pretty much on an even playing ground let's see what these guys are up to it is really fun mr guy with glasses And see, now that I've talked to you, he's going to spawn up there. Has anyone ever noticed, um, take a look at this guy's sprite. He looks exactly like the original red sprite in the, um, Pokemon, uh, green, red, blue, orange, silver, purple. Um, but yeah, he, he looks like Ash, basically, and... It's been, you know, commented on in this game before that he kind of looks that way. I'm starting to think that it's not a coincidence. Oh yeah, I probably have mail that has boosters. That's that's awesome. I already beat her. Scyther! Ooh, okay. So, little tangent about Scyther. Scyther is a great, 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 great Pokemon for the Haymaker strategy. Because he's got 70 HP, a free retreat cost, and the slash attack, which is 30 damage for 3 colorless energy. And if even if you have one grass energy, you can make him do 60 next turn instead of 30. So, Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself, which is what I am doing, and I have an Arcanine. Okay. You look exactly like Sam. <laughs> okay. Well, here goes. Um, yeah. I suspect that <laughs> this battle may hand me my first loss. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was Eric's starting hand. A straight flush of grass energy. Okay, so he's trying this again. And, you know, he failed again. Got the feeling that there aren't very many basic Pokemon in his deck. You know, this, But this time he got one. This is the Cat Punch Meowth. Um, but I have Charmeleon. Uh, yeah, I think I will lead with Charmander. Yeah, I hate to be pessimistic, but I think that this might be the first time that I lose. I just, I don't know. I have kind of a kind of a weird feeling about this. Oh, and also, um, if you happen to watch this video um, prior to uh, um, prior to the other one that I uploaded today, I wanted to let you know that I did start another Let's Play series. Um, I decided to. Um, kind of follow in the footsteps of one of my favorite um, ROM hackers out there. His name's Raukau. 
Um, and uh, I'm going to start playing some Mario, Mario, or uh, Super Mario World hacks. The first one that I'm going to be doing is a uh, jigsaw test. Um, it doesn't, you know, it's not that long of a hack, but um, it's very, very well made. I've never seen anything like it before. But enough about that. We're getting off tangent here. We're also getting poisoned, and we're <laughs> not off to the bestest of starts. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I think that we're going to use the full heal to accept that was really stupid, because I was planning to evolve Charmander anyway, which would have removed the, uh, uh whatever. Um, I need fire energy badly, so I'm going to Professor Oak. Why did I not evolve Charmander before I used the... So today's stupid decision day, um, I'm Mark, I'll be your host. Oh boy. Okay. Um Oh man. Okay. Derpy derpy derp derp derp. Yeah. Oh, why didn't I ta oh. dumb decisioning it up all over the place today. Um, yeah. Huh. And that time I actually couldn't have attacked. You know, maybe it's the fumes. Maybe it's the... Oh. <laughs> awesome. Pretty sure it's the uh, the fumes in the room getting to me. I uh, I applied some poly to some wood earlier today. I don't know if they give off any, any, give off, rather, any sort of uh, bad fumes, but I am sitting in a room... Um, full of uh, freshly ply freshly applied poly um, and uh, yeah probably shouldn't uh, I am in a horrible horrible spot I can't even gnaw um, so yeah but yeah as I was saying I'm, I'm in a room that's you know filling up with fumes and uh, kinda and, uh, yeah, probably making stupid decisions because of it. And, you know, obviously rapidly losing my ability to speak English. That's, that's always great. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty well screwed. But, you know, um, I, I had a good run, you know? I, uh, managed to beat, what was it, four or five? Five, yeah, five trainers in a row, you know, without, uh, without losing. So, you know, for the, f you know, an unmodified intro deck, you know, I didn't do that bad. Um, <laughs> I think this makes it pretty obvious, though, that uh, might be time to uh, modify the old Charmander and Friends deck. Um, because, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we're getting pretty soundly beat here. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Uh yeah. Um having some energy would be nice game, but uh yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, just 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 you know, whatever. Let's just use the potion. <laughs> And you know what? We're losing anyway. We are going to go no holds barred. Evolve everything that we can. And then and then be like, rawr! And then end our turn. So, yeah. Ha, ha, I'm going to screw with you. Ha, lol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think the fumes are making me a little delirious, but you know, that makes for... Ah, I lost, look at that. Oh, look, 
that's such a... Oh, the music is so sad when you lose, isn't it? Yep. Well, you know, the good news is when you lose a battle, you know, you don't have to have to, you know, give your opponent a booster pack. That'd be kind of dumb. Well, yeah, anyway, um, this has been, uh, Evelis the Espeon, um, getting my butt handed to me, uh, rather thoroughly. Uh, <laughs> um, join me next time for, uh, you know, the next Pokemon trading card game video, and, uh, I think we'll start the video, or actually, maybe I'll devote an entire video just to, uh, modifying this deck. Um, it's pretty clear that we need to, uh, change it up a little bit in order to, uh, even the odds against some of the opponents that we're fighting, so. Um, you know, I, I, I think I did pretty well in the Grass Club only because none of the trainers there, um, or all of the trainers there, rather, had fire weakness, which this deck is predominantly with. I think that's why I did so well there, because I could take advantage of that. But, yeah, here, uh, <laughs> not so much. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, we'll be modifying that next time, and then, uh, you know, hopefully better luck next time. Um, I have been Evelis the Espeon. You have not been. But uh, thanks for joining me, and, uh, yeah, I uh, hope to see you next time. And, uh running out of things to say, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, stammering, and, uh, and, uh, bye.